Welcome to episode six and a half of On Air Heavy Metal. Okay, so what happened is um, I went and I put everything together together for episode seven and put that out there. And then uh, the next morning, I kind of reviewed it and I said, I thought I had more. I was thinking I had more content for it, you know. And I did. <laughs> it it just was before. It was before most of what happened in episode seven happened. Um, I'll let the video explain itself, but it's pretty cool. I basically screw up. I. Put an AT I send an ATR to go do a thing that makes a lot of money, and then I end up leaving it at a place where it can't get fuel and have to go on a whole short field landing rescue mission thing. And it's it really does turn out pretty neat. So now I'm going to let you enjoy the thing that you should have watched before you enjoyed the thing you did watch, or something. Well, I've decided to expand my revenue production possibilities by going into the supply and demand uh, feature from uh, on here so what I did is I went in here and I looked at a lot of different things that uh, and, I, and I thought the hunting gear fit the ATRs really well because um, I can put exactly 50 of them on there they weigh 420 pounds that comes out to 21,000 and that's about uh, that's a good load for an ATR um, and uh, 68 LS uh, Myrtle something has uh, a good sale price um, of uh, 14,000 each, um, so it's a nice low price. And then I found uh, a place to sell them to um, up in uh, I think it's uh, Nova Scotia, and that's uh, C Y yeah C Y H U. It's up here somewhere on the demand side. Uh, let me see if I can find it. There. And they pay 19000 So for each unit, I'm making $4,500. You know, times 50. It's going to be a quarter mil uh, per run. And for the ATR, this is a single this is a single jaunt. So just pick up 50, drop off 50. And I'm not going to get any jobs in them. In the logistics center, they're going to pay a quarter million. They're usually right around 100, 110 for ATR loads. Um, so, you know, each ATR I try to make a lap where it ends up near 68 LS, drop by. So, you saw, so you purchase here. So, I had put in 50 and I told it to buy. So, now if I go into my goods inventory, and everything gets grouped. So, you have to hit down. You see, I have 50. It weighs exactly 21,000 pounds. And I and I paid uh, seven hundred and twenty-three thousand dollars for these. So now we're gonna figure it out together. Um, I'm putting together a work order somewhere here, where I end up at sixty-eight LS. Right? Does it show up here? It does. So we want to pick that up. I want us to go to CYHU, and you can see we were then 200 pounds of maximum weight. This is using an ATR to its fullest, uh, and you know it's a, it's a it's a John. It's 1171 miles. So um, when we sell it, save that, um, and then can we just go back to that? Yeah. So when we sell our hunting gear. So C Y C Y H U. Wherever that is. We'll just do it this way. C Y H U. Yeah, here. And they're gonna pay that much. So now the question is, is in the work order see LS, you can't really put a destination. How do I how does I do I uh, um, do I tell it here? Oh yeah. So I make a contract for fifty, right? And sign the contract. A ten percent penalty applied if you fail to deliver before before the March sixteenth. 
but we're going to deliver it uh, by the by the 14th. That's fine. So there's our contract. Okay. So now that we have the contract, how do we I didn't even see this thing up here. Does that help? So, yes, this is this is what I'm doing. Yep, yep, yep. And it's an 11. Um, what does this, what does that do? Need industry points to unlock. Oh. So that's not ready yet. And fur looks like it might be another one that'll be good, but until base camps can, uh, you can tell you can put a hunting camp on a base camp. There's, uh, you can't do uh, fur or meat. And right now the base camps are... I mean, sure, they generate airport jobs, but for a Type 0 airport, for a Size 0 airport. Uh, and But the 208s would be good. Uh, you know, using a 208. Oh, and you got to watch us hit level 10. Yay! Everybody be happy. Uh, that will go a long way for us making money. Okay, but I'm one thing at a time, Barley. Uh, all right, so we've set this up. That doesn't do anything. So now if we go back to our thing, will it know that it needs to drop in its engine or get rid of it? Here, let's add a leg. It did. Okay, it knows. Very cool. Don't know how, but somehow it knew that it needed to take that cargo off at CYHU they're looking for 50 of these and I guess when we drop them off the contracts fulfilled and we get paid are two quarter million dollars okay it took all the extra cash that I had to make that happen but hey that's alright so now from CYHU which is gonna be a regular trip because I looked I looked for something that's made in the Northeast and would sell really good like uh, somewhere else in in the eastern in eastern North America and there wasn't anything um, that would make any money that came from up there so uh, I won't I'm not gonna do all supply and demand but it fits where it fits in when I can drop by 68 LS well I'm gonna pick some up and then make that straight route with an ATR and just a quick quarter mil if I can do that once with each ATR that's really gonna help our um, return on assets well, I made a oopsie. Mm-hmm. Yes, I took a big old fat dump on my company. Oh. So basically what happened, uh, I guess the best way to see it would be to go look at the work orders, see how bad it is. Uh, here. Ah. I didn't check. No FBO with enough fuel available at 68 LS. So if you remember, uh, this is the place where we we bought all of the hunting gear packs, and we were and we're gonna make like uh, it costs like seven hundred thousand dollars to buy, and we're gonna sell them for almost a million. We're gonna make a quarter million on the trip, but not if there's no fuel, because this is a long trip. So we need to see how much fuel were we gonna supposedly need at 68 LS and then comes the fun hey at least you get a full flight video out of this one but it was uh, we were supposed to have at least 294 gallons how much is on the aircraft fuel fuel fuel, fuel on board 44 gallons all right so some real quick math we need to bring 313 gallons plus what the King Air is going to need to buy a crap ton of gas cans. I'm trying to remember where you do that. Uh, do I have anything that's sitting on the ground? Yeah, this one's going to go in for maintenance. So I'll just, uh, I think you do it by going. It's been a long time since I've flubbed up fueling like that. Work order. I don't want the work order. It's finished. What if I wanted to? Oh, this is what I was looking for. Uh, do you buy it here? No, you don't buy it here. Right, so do we create a payload at RDU by going to airports? I literally think I've only done this once, and I've done three or four what I call complete playthroughs. 
where I went to the point where I, you know, built the airline to what my goals were and then decided I wanted to do something new. Okay, so there's already you. Do, do we buy it? Buy jet fuel containers. And we don't have any fuel yet because uh, we're going to order it today. But um, we're going to have to pay retail because we're still building out our fuel stuff. And yeah. So let's buy these. Zero gallons for zero credits. Uh, okay, but what if I wanted to buy 315 gallons? Oh, let's just buy 320. We'll put it back into the King Air if we have to. Okay. Buy 320 gallons for 1600 bucks. Yeah, I'm good with that. So that'll fuel up the ATR with everything it supposedly needs. And an extra seven gallons for the King Air so it can get to some nearby airport. So we'll buy that. Fuel container. There's one container that holds 320 gallons. Must be a, like a bladder. Works for me. Do we get a pump with that? All right, the King Air's out of the shop, so it's time to get going and fix our fuel issue. We need to take the containers, full fuel, 921 left. We're going to 68 LS. Doesn't really matter. We're not going to use an offset. I didn't forget something. There is no. Oh, we almost forgot Miss Fink. We want her to continue on with this aircraft. Uh, fuel loaded. We have fuel. Miss Fink is there. Okay, there's. Let's get that going. Uh, KRU 68 plus. Part arrive. King Air. Uh, it doesn't know what that is. Okay. Um, so let's find an airport near there. Um, oh, here, here's what I'm doing. 68 LS. And get it centered on there. That's There's our King Air, or the ATR that's waiting for fuel. Uh, nearby decent airport. Okay, H E Z. Which means we'll have to cancel our IFR flight plan when we get close. Um, but I need the IFR flight plan to fly at altitude above 18,000 feet. Myrtle Grove, I'm going to have my own challenges. Uh, they have a 2,500 foot runway, but it's dirt. Um, that's a short field for a King Air. We won't be fully loaded. Um, but we're going to do what we can. If it looks bad, then I'll go to KHEZ and they'll have the ATR meet me there and take the fuel. 31. What altitude is it um, launching us at here? Uh, it's always fun right here. Steps 24,000. There we go. Now we just need to make sure we change this again. That uh, departure is fine. Uh, but this Shepard Vulcan Skinner Dooms Cake easy. Does that match? Yep. We're all good. So we'll see if it changes it as soon as I say, no, I want to start from here. And if, uh, yeah, Dooms is gone. Shepard's still there, but no. So we'll just tell it direct. And that's not right. Uh, Oxford, Carmel, no, that one's not right. It just went and made its own flight plans. Because I chose a place to start from. So we're not getting none of that, no. None of the three are the same. Okay, that's the flight plan that I filed. Please quit screaming with me. But I don't want to start here. Now, if I do direct, that's what's... That, well, Skinner Dooms, Vulcan Skinner Dooms, that's correct. Now maybe it'll let me change to... I mean, I should use a standard departure, but it shouldn't be... Microsoft shouldn't be changing my flight plan just because I pick a place to start from. But I can't start from the runway. And it... 
and it did it again. Whatever. It's just picking its own. Vulcan Skinner Dooms is what I need. And that's none of those. So let's uh, remove, remove, remove. Okay, now I need to add. I wasn't planning on doing this, but yeah, Microsoft Screwy, once you pick something else, it better still be there. Don't make me do this twice. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's the departure. And there's Shepard. So after Shepard. Vulcan. V L K N N. And what's after Vulcan is Skinner. S K N R R. Yes, and then we'll hit the button again once it disappears. Oh, this one didn't disappear this time. Add. Okay. So, does this look like. This looks like our flight plan, basically. Skinner, Dooms. Do, do I get Dooms in there? Skinner, Dooms. Yep. Yeah. Vulcan, Skinner, Dooms. Yeah. Runway 31. Oh, that's 1,300 feet. Yeah, we aren't landing on that. And it says turf. It doesn't look like turf. The long one is supposedly runway 1836. This one looks longer. We're going to have to overfly it. So... We're going to come in, overfly it, and then we'll go left traffic for this or this, whichever one looks doable. And we are going to have to be on our shit. Short field. And if it doesn't look like we're going to make it, we'll just go around and... Beechcraft Bravo 01 altimeter, 2 niner decimal niner, 2 wind calm. Cleared for takeoff runway 2 tree right. Cleared for takeoff runway. Beachcraft Bravo 01. Alright. Flaps are set. Auto feather on. Lights are on. Let's go. Last check. Positive Airborne rate. Time log. Gear up. 125. Flaps up. hard to see. That's it. I think that dark strip is it. Yep, that stall warning's fine. I need to be as slow as I can for this. Landing time log. All right, that's plenty of space. We're good. be taking off that way, so we'll just turn around and go to the other end of the runway. Oh, except I need to start a new flight for that, right? So, well, we'll pull over here then. Okay, consider fuel delivered. Let's shut this puppy down. Alright, well, we got here, and I, I this looks like plenty of space. I think I can get this off, no problem. So, 
parking brake. Lights. Just the beacon on. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, I got on the work order screen to see if I can figure out how do I get this fuel onto here, because there is fuel here now. So, is that 31? Shouldn't be hard to find. ATR stuck at 68 LS. So it says we do this. Oh, and there's supposed to be a uh, refuel using fuel container. There we go. Okay, so we do that. So now it has fuel. So now we get out of here. And now we tell it, uh, manage work orders. Details. And just tell it, again, I'm gonna have to do this. Save, activate. You have fuel, you don't care about the FBO. To dump fuel? I don't want you to dump fuel. What did you do? See, I couldn't select how much. I just didn't want you to load any fuel. Well, that's f freaking useless. Who would say, oh yeah, you want to start off with nothing. Oh, I see. So I'll just put it super high, like to the red. But tell it don't load any. Okay, let's see if that works. Oh, co-pilot. No. Okay, so. It has 387 right now. So let's put 388. But tell it don't load anything. Got a co-pilot. Activate. Yes! Success! Finally. Uh, hope you enjoyed the King Air flight and learning how to refuel if you have never had to do that before. Um, even if it's on a work order, meaning AI is flying the plane, once you bring the fuel, you then have to treat it like you're going to take off in it. Hit the little fly now button and then uh, up and where the fueling section is hit the button that says use the cans and then you need to go in and make sure that um, you tell it you want more fuel than you brought and then tell it not to fuel at the airport or some crap like that that was just a ridiculous now you're all caught up thanks for coming along on my screw ups and if you like this video please take the time to click the like and subscribe button so I know to make more Barley out